My name is Charles B, and this is Chucked Up News. It really is just me sitting in front of a camera talking about things that tickle my pickle. First up, teens take tampons, soak them in vodka, and stick them where? First of all, I want to make this clear. This is not an isolated story. It's not a couple of teens in Bum Freak, Ohio. This is a new phenomenon all across America. Teens are taking tampons, soaking them in vodka, and sticking them in their vaginal and recto areas. Oh, Charles, you're so disgusting. You'll say anything to get views. Yes, all that is true. And so is this. Two things I never thought would appear in the same sentence, tampons and vodka. You heard right. Teens taking tampons, soaking them in vodka, and inserting them there. You know, everyone's probably laughing because I've got a box of tampons. <laughs> you know, but some women are soaking tampons and vodka, inserting them into their vaginas, and men into their rectums for a quick high on alcohol. Turns out that one tampon holds a shot of vodka going straight to the bloodstream, giving you a longer lasting high with way more intensity. And it's also dangerous and really stupid. It's just stupid. The craziest thing I remember doing as a kid was flipping our eyelids inside out. And our parents would be like, hey ass clown, your eyes are gonna get stuck that way. And I'd be like, well, it really doesn't matter because I have a lazy eye. In all seriousness, this crap is really dangerous, so if you have teens, talk to them, smack them upside the head, do something. Some of the dangers include getting alcohol poisoning before you even realize it. There's no gag reflex because nothing is going down your throat. Stop it, you have a filthy mind. Filthy, filthy mind. Because there are no gag reflexes, that means you won't throw up. Because you don't throw up, you just end up passing out. By the time you get to the doctor, he won't automatically know to check those areas, which will take him longer to find out what's wrong with you, and you may die. Also, when girls do this, it destroys their vagina. That sweet, wonderful, beautiful vagina. This isn't just girls. Guys are joining in the fun, too. Using a beer bong rectally is the same concept as a vodka-soaked tampon. Yep. Rather than the traditional beer bong you'd find at a college party, kids are sticking the tube elsewhere to get wasted. Beer bongs, children, kids are doing this into their anuses. Literally, taking a beer bong, and Jim, you've got an example there. This, you know, kind of reminds you of the old college days, you know, it's the, but this, instead of going in the mouth, you're sticking it somewhere else. I want to know what were the things that didn't work before we got to the tampons and the beer butt bones. There has to be an entire list of things they were shoving up there before somebody said, I got it. I got it. Kids also think that by inserting alcohol in their special places, it will keep them from being detected by a breathalyzer. Which is ridiculous because breathalyzers don't detect your breath, they detect your bloodstream. So stop it, kids. You crazy kids. Before I go, here's a little something to make you smile or chuckle. This is the story of the Jacob family. The Bruins decided to present them with an award because their son Charles has been serving in Afghanistan. Unbeknownst to them, the person that would be presenting them with that award would be their son Charles. Mr. and Mrs. Jacobs, we have a very special surprise for you tonight. To present you with the puck for our ceremony, on leave after spending the past seven months in, in Afghanistan, please welcome home your son, Lieutenant Charles Jacobs. So yeah, big ups to Charles Jacobs. It's because of men and women like you that I'm allowed to make fart jokes online. So thank you, Charles Jacobs and the men and women serving in our military. I salute you. So yeah, that's pretty much everything that tickled my pickle. If you'll excuse me, I'm attending a bachelor party tonight, and I need to pick up a couple items from Rite Aid. Excuse me, what aisle are the feminine care products? So what do you think about tampons and vodka? What were some of the crazy things that you did as a kid? Don't forget to leave a comment, like this video on YouTube, and for crying out loud. Becky, 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 Stan, Stan. Yeah, what he said. I holla.